I challenged myself to upload every single day I'm in Europe next week, and this is episode six. I decided what I'm playing with this wheel, and we're only down to two options, so let's see which one this episode's gonna be. Parkour, okay, that's an interesting one. This next wheel's gonna be extremely exciting. This is a parkour server named Zero Miner. I'm not sure if I should really say the IP of the server because there's a couple restrictions on making content for like puzzles and stuff. Like you're not allowed to make tutorials, if that makes sense. I'm not quite sure, but there's a couple maps on here that I really want to speedrun. The first of which being named Hard Hat. Basically, the gimmick of this level is that you go over here and then you get a stack of suspicious sand. And the entire level, you have to try and block clutch across the whole thing. We're just going to do a quick casual run through and then I'm going to show you my record time, which I already have recorded actually. But I love this map. This is probably one of my favorite parkour maps of all time because... It's just so creative, like, they do so many different things with the sand, and it's also, like, pretty skill-based. Like, this takes quite a bit of practice to do, and I'm doing a lot of it off of muscle memory right now, so expect some failures every now and then. But, like, look at this. Like, boom, that's awesome. I feel awesome at the game after doing that. Awesome at the game? That's not a saying, is it? Well, whatever. Ah, okay, I didn't make that one. Boom, 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 there we go. But, like, whenever you do something right, it just feels so clean. Like, it just feels awesome. Going over here, we have this one, this one, this- Ah, oh, I messed it up. This one, this one, this one. I think I actually have a top 50 time, but fun fact, the friend who showed me this, Pig is Vibing, has a time of, I think, 0.3 milliseconds ahead of me. 0.3! And I only found this out a couple weeks ago. It's hilarious. I really want to beat their time, but also I haven't played this map in a while. The video I'm going to show you of my record time is actually a little bit older. I think it is top 50 though. I'm not actually quite sure, but one of the cool gimmicks about this map is that the suspicious stand automatically breaks because it's suspicious sand. I can't say that 10 times fast. But basically whenever it falls and it hits the ground, it just breaks so it's no longer there, which is really cool because it means there's no lag from sand just plopping on the ground. There's no like collection system. Okay, I just botched that. There we go. Go over here. Boom, boom, boom. Another fun fact, two of the friends that were also playing this map at the same time as me whenever I first found it, they both had two, like, pretty good times. And the first time I played this map, I beat the first friend, and then I was told about the second friend's time, and then I beat their time. It was kind of hilarious. Clearly, I'm not playing the best right now. Oh, oh my goodness, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hold on. Okay, sorry, I had to, like, pay attention there for a second. Okay. Another cool thing about this park, also, hard jump incoming. This one's actually pretty difficult. Okay, this one actually, like, takes a second. There we go. This one's also pretty difficult. I find this one a little bit easier, but most people find this a little bit harder. Like, boom. I just did that. And then you got this one, which I always mess up that one. For yeah, like, right there, I always do that. Like, I remember running this map, and I just... What am I... I remember running this map, and I will always mess up right there, and I don't know why. Oh, this one's also a pretty difficult one, but I did first try. Let's go. Okay, this one's more difficult than the last one, but I also did it first try. Oh my goodness. Oh, this section's really cool, because they take away all your hunger, so now you can't sprint. So basically, the whole gimmick of this section is you gotta go slow. Boom, 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 boom. That's pretty easy. This one's a little bit tougher. Not really, though, because you kind of just gotta take your time here. Just gotta make sure you do all the jumps. This one's where it gets tricky because you kind of have to, like, wind around the corner of the wall. I messed up. Go around here. Okay, we did that. Go over here. This one's also a little bit tricky. It's a lot easier than you think, though, because you kind of just spin around. I didn't actually mean to do the full 360. I have a high sense, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know what's considered a high sensitivity at this point. This one's pretty easy. You just go up here, do that. A little too much walking on this part for my liking, but I mean, it makes sense. These are pretty long courses. This one's a combination of the two last ones. Again, not as hard as you think it'd be. And I think this one's pretty tough because you kind of got to wind around like this. This one's pretty easy. You just go right, left, right right and then they take you back down the staircase and you do it again but now it's left right left right left right i think this is the last jump if i remember correctly you have to go around and there's one block there you have to do a little not neo i guess but you just gotta oh my goodness it's really easy to just start jumping off the map after doing that but oh i gotta turn more around here this one requires high sensitivity or like just really good mouse movement but i think is that the end of the map i'm gonna get my hunger back if it is and yeah it's the end Yep, here we are. And boom, we're done. That's a six minute, five second run. Honestly, not that bad. I had to ask in the chat because I forgot. But over here, you can see I've only done hard hit 35 times because I was resetting for good runs. I'm 58th. Oh, I think I went down. But yeah, that was on, dang, April the 9th, day after my birthday. But now I'm going to show you that clip of whenever I actually finished the run for the first time. I'll do a little bit of commentary. Here you go. 
so this is the first run of hard hat that i got a really good time this was actually a while ago you can look at my movement i feel so clean washing this back look at my little wiggle there you got my little wiggle i don't actually that sounds weird anyways <laughs> moving on from that i actually fail there so we're gonna restart and this is the run as you can see in the bottom left i have a 441 as my pb at the time of like me doing this run so we're actually gonna be watching the whole thing through. There's gonna be a little bit of silence in this commentary, because obviously it's commentary. I'm letting you watch the entire run all the way through. It just feels so clean. Like, watching this back? Dude, I was so good at this. Why did I stop? Well, the reason I stopped is because I, I met my goal, top 50, and then I wanted to move on to other maps, and then I didn't move on to other maps. But regardless, look at that! Like, that, that looks so cool. I did that. That's me. That's my prime. But... Honestly, I don't think I had too many mess ups. I think there's maybe two in the harder sections in this run specifically. Again, this was a while back, so not really too, not too sure, but look at that. Oh, the flicks, it looks so good. Mm, right on the corner. And then I think this next part's where it gets like a little bit more difficult. Oh no, 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 this is really easy. This is actually the easiest part. Fun fact. In this next part, I think, I think it's this next one. There's just one leaf, and you're gonna see it in a second. No, it's in the next part. There's a leaf that I always hit my head on, and in this run, I didn't hit my head on it, and I was so happy. It's gonna be this next part right here. I remember it, the leaf of doom. Okay, right here, you're gonna see it. I'm gonna get to the top. I'm gonna hit my head on the leaf. No, it's not there. Okay, this commentary is actually turning into a mystery. Where is it? It's right here. It has to be. It has to. Be. What's that, fam? I skipped one. Dude, that leaf, right there. You saw me? I turned and I jumped underneath it to get speed. Usually, I hit my head on it and I feel really stupid. But that time, I remembered. And I felt so good about that when that happened. Now we go around here. Boom, boom, boom. Basically, if I made a mistake on any of this, I would have reset by now. So, you know, pretty simple stuff. We go around here. This is where it gets hard. The birch section is the hardest section, in my opinion. Like, maybe, maybe the slowest section, actually. That might be second hardest, but... This is also the hardest part, like, that's a little bit more difficult. This is where it gets difficult, because I, I think I mess up here. No, I first try this, okay, I probably mess up here then. Okay, yeah, yeah, one mess up, and then I, I make sure I get my lineup, and I go over there, perfect. This next part, I also hit my head in the leaf, that's a little embarrassing, but I failed this part once. No, I don't, this is actually the one time I didn't fail it, that's actually really funny, but I think I failed this one? No, I think I failed the next one. The next one's the more difficult one, so... Yeah, that, yeah, this one fail. And make that perfect. That's about all it is. Like, usually I only fail once. I think I might have failed once at the end. I think the one run killer that I had, for whatever reason, was the very last jump. We have to go around a corner. I remember, like, always failing that and feeling awful. Because I would fail it, and then I would be right at the end. And I'd turn that corner and finish the run. And I'd be like, dang, if I didn't mess up there, that would have been the run. And it's a little demotivating, but at the same time, it makes me think, man, I gotta get this run. So I honestly don't know. I think I think those two fails earlier were my only two, if I'm remembering correctly. Because oh no, I failed there, dude. You can see me shaking. I failed a third time. What? No, I thought a fourth. I don't even remember that. Like I had to have flawless the entire rest of it. It actually sounds right in my head. I feel like I told myself I had to flawless the rest of it, but. Dude, you can see me shaking at that part. That's actually crazy. Like, I was freaking out. But luckily, you can't sprint here, so there's not a whole lot of movement you can do. Not too much stress on you. I kind of failed that. I'm supposed to get up another block there, but minor time loss in the grand scheme of things. It doesn't matter in these runs, but <sighs> we're going to see. Excuse the yawn. It's late. Just kind of chilling here, doing this commentary before my flight. Anyways, back to the run. <laughs> Watching this, I go up here. I think I'm, I'm shaking a lot right now. Like, you can see me shaking as I try and do the jumps. I think you'll see it a lot in this next part. Right here. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, I didn't shake too much there. But, keep going. And this is usually the part where I choke, I think. Right here. Did I? Oh. Oh, I didn't choke. That's probably why the run succeeded. Because I didn't choke there when I usually do. Because it's just lengthy, you know. If you fail at the end, you gotta start all the way over. But, I was so excited. I was looking at my time. I was like... Dude, listen to my reaction here. Oh, wait, no, I actually cut it out. I lied. You can't actually listen to the reaction. But, dude, I felt awesome after that. 
This next one that you also saw in that list right here is called Bismuth. And honestly, I think it's just a pretty cool map on its own. Like, there's nothing really special about it. It's not like a gimmicky map, kind of like Hard Hat, but it's also really cool. There's one more map I really wanted to do called Dodicad, but I haven't actually completed the map yet because it, it is pretty difficult. Like, really difficult. I don't think it's actually that difficult. I am just bad at the game overall, but we're playing Bismuth now. I don't actually have like a record time for Bismuth, which isn't surprising, obviously, because I'm bad at the game, but this could be my record just doing this run. It's pretty fun. I wanted to make this video kind of more like getting records and stuff, but I'm not nearly good enough to compete with the actually good players of this server. And also, I'm kind of on a time crunch for this video, so I'm just going to show off my favorite maps over here, get the checkpoint. Again, there's nothing really too special about Bismuth, but besides just a lot of slabs, I guess. It's a really aesthetically pleasing map. Like, look at this cave. Look at the floor. It looks so good. It's just, just a cool map to look at, you know? Anyways, running around here, down here. Oh, okay, get the checkpoint. Oh, and that's the first death. Luckily, we just got that checkpoint. Thank goodness I fell there and not somewhere else because that would have been very sad. But I think we're actually on pace to beat my previous record on Bismuth, which is nice. I'm a little bit sad that my hard hat time isn't top 50. I thought it was. It might not even have been. You're gonna get to watch the actual clip and see what the time is itself. I don't actually know. Anyways, we are back onto this part. Honestly, this part looks like one of those things you'd watch in like YouTube shorts when someone does like a commentary and then there's just parkour in the background for no reason. Also, I just, why did I jump there? Like, does this part not remind you of that? Like, it looks like someone's going to start recording YouTube, but does it not remind you of that? Like, it looks like someone's going to start playing Subway Surfers in the background while I keep jumping and they're going to read you some Reddit story from four years ago. Anyways, back on topic, I think we're actually almost done with the map. I think it ends just up here. Here, a couple more jumps. Yep, I think that's it. I think you jump into the middle and we're good. That is the end of Bismuth. Look at that. I got a 258. That's actually a sub three minutes. That's pretty good considering I had what, two falls? Also, that's top 150. I'd say that's pretty good. Now, the last bit of parkour we're doing isn't even on this server. It's actually on this server, MCC Island. I know, I know we already did a video on this server and also why is that scoreboard so large? I'm on vanilla Minecraft, you know, like that's just how MCC Island has it. They actually have a game mode where you fight people with parkour, which is actually pretty cool, though nobody's skewing it, so we're gonna have to wait a while, but it's actually a pretty fun game mode to me. For some reason, the server defaults to having random cosmetics on now. I, I tried to turn it off. I cannot find it. Why is it like this? I really wish it would let you take it out of your hand, but you just can't, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. So basically what it does is it works in leaps. Also, I'm gonna turn down the music because it's so annoying, but basically the server- okay, I've already failed. It works in, quote, leaps, which- it's kind of a weird name, but basically it's three sections of parkour you have to do and then you're safe for the next round. But after a certain number of people complete the quote leap, you'll start taking damage. And I'm actually failing at this one because I really hate the timing games like a lot. How do I do that? Go, 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 dude. I hate the timing games. Luckily, you can still complete it after taking damage. You'll just be a heart down or two. But of course, once you get to zero hearts, you die. That's just Minecraft. So we gotta not let that happen. Oh, more timing mini games. Yay. I hate these. Okay. I actually made it past the stupid timing one. Now we can get on to actual parkour. Like this, Neo. Do you see that, Neo? That was not required, but that was all skill. Why is this bar so huge? MCC Island, why? I think we're in the top 10 now. I'm not quite sure how many people there are left. It does not tell you. And I am not counting all the people alive, so yeah. Oh, these courses are really cool. ITMG is amazing at making parkour courses. I love the water. Woo! Sadly, a lot of players in this game are, like, really, really sweaty, so we're gonna have some trouble at the end. I'm also gonna turn down the volume, because, god, this server's loud. I really don't like this server. This is, like, one of the few fun games they have left. And also, if not enough people make it to actually meet that requirement, then they will just skip to the next leap. Unfortunately, the server just died. Oh my goodness. Talk about lag, but we are all right. I think that was actually lag on my part, which is weird because I really shouldn't be having any lag on my part at all. Maybe it was one of those viruses I installed. Anyways, that jump was not required, but that looked really cool while I was doing it. Off we go. Look at that. We actually did decent that round. Does turning down your GUI scale? Oh god. No, 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 no. I gotta go. I hate this one. How are you supposed to make that? Oh, oh. oh my god, I actually made it. Okay. Okay. My food just got here, so I have french fries now. Mmm. No. My french fry. No, no. My chicken is in the way of my mouse. Okay. I gotta lock him. Go, 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 go. ITMG, yes, save me. Save me, ITMG. Oh, I could actually make this. Hold on. Oh, I'm so good. What am I first? Yo. I get to eat a celebratory french fry now. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Oh, shoot. I gotta pay attention. Okay. More pretty dumb. 
Mm. I probably lost the game because I missed that jump. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we just gotta do some slime timing. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Oh, I actually made it. Wait. Oh, the final duel. Okay. Oh, I hate this one. Okay, okay, okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. Come on. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta move. They messed up. They messed up. Okay, I just gotta live. Yes. I did it fast. That course takes so long. That's actually a huge save. Okay. Oh, it's huge. Oh, I don't like this one though. No. Shoot, dude. I hate this course. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. No, I might have tossed. Oh, but the other person can't do it either. Okay, we have minutes to do this, so I'm fine. Oh, I tossed. I should have just waited. Might as well say GG now. The game is over. This one's so easy. I would be dumbfounded if they messed this one up. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Ew, I'm glad I didn't have to play this one, though. This one looks awful. But anyways, that was the parkour episode. I don't really know what to call this because it's not like a specific one thing. There's not really a topic. I'm just playing parkour. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. There is one more video coming out until this series thing is over and I am back from my trip, which is kind of weird to think about. You're watching this and I'm almost done on my trip. And again, if you haven't already, go watch those other videos. They're very cool. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. <gasps> Bye.